Hi, my name is Jeanette with the NSF Center for Aerosol Impacts on Chemistry of the Environment. Now we are a bunch of scientists who do chemistry to study how and why aerosols are so important to the climate and environment on our planet. But what's an aerosol? So an aerosol is anything, any bit of stuff, like a solid or a liquid that gets suspended in the air. It can be things like ash from a volcano or a fire, dust, pollution, even sea spray and salt could be bits of skin, right? Anything that becomes suspended in the air is an aerosol. And these aerosols are incredibly important for many different parts of our climate. But one of them that is really interesting is its ability to make clouds. So at the center of every single cloud, we have aerosols. And there are a few other things that we need to make a cloud, actually three things that we need to make a cloud. The first being aerosols, right? The second is water or water vapor, right? Water as a gas, right? And that water, what happens in the clouds is it condenses onto or attaches to the aerosols. And we need a third thing to make those clouds form. And that is a change in pressure or a lowering of the, the pressure, right? So way up in the atmosphere, the, the air pressure is much lower. And this low pressure helps with this water condensation onto the aerosols, right? So we need three things to make a cloud. We need aerosols, we need water, and we need a reduction in pressure. And we can get all of those things happening inside a bottle. Okay, now we're ready to make that cloud, make a cloud happen inside this bottle. So again, we learned we need three things to make a cloud. We need first aerosols. Now, there are aerosols everywhere. They are all around us all the time, suspended in the air. Just think of any time you've seen a sunbeam come through a window and you see little dust particles. Those are aerosols. So there are definitely aerosols already inside this bottle. The other thing we need is water. Right? You can see there's a little bit of water in the bottom of this bottle. Perfect. And the last thing we need is that change in pressure. And we're going to make that happen using this bike pump. So what I've got is a little stopper attached to the end of my bike pump. I'll go ahead and put it into my bottle and pump it up. Now what this does is it creates very high pressure on the inside of the bottle. And if I release the top, we will get a sudden low pressure change happening inside the bottle. And we get a cloud. So this is exactly what happens up in the atmosphere every day. Right? We get water and aerosols and different pressures coming together to make the clouds that we depend on for shade, for rain, and for snow. For more videos, visit our website or check out our YouTube channel and keep learning all about aerosols.